Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about setting up an element's background color using CSS. Okay, let's get started. We have a CSS folder here. Inside I have an index.html. Let me open it with a top style. And you can see here that I have an HTML document with head tag and empty style tag. And then within the body tag, I have the uh, a table. And you see this first row is the header row with username, email, and phone number. And these are just additional uh, information. OK, let's preview this in Firefox. Okay, so you'll see that I have the username column, email column, and the phone number column, right? Let's minimize it. Let's bring back top style. So what if we want to make the header row more noticeable for people? Uh, of course, we know that the header row is uh, the text is bold, but what if we want to make it more stand out? we can obviously add make the row a different color right and uh, we can do that by using CSS okay so let's try that so let's create a class called header row okay and inside this header row <clears throat> let's set background color to uh, aqua, okay, and let's apply this header class. I like to copy, double click, oops, copy, and then inside this row, I'll just assign a class, auto autofill. And then top style allows you to autofill this. Okay, so we've assigned header row class to this tr tag. Let's save it, minimize it, bring back Firefox, and let's refresh to see what it looks like. So we have this. So now the the row, the header row is looks uh, more stand out so people would uh, spot right away that this is the username column this is the email column this is the phone column uh, there are times when you want to make the whole table background color a different color or each row a separate color you know or alternating color uh, to make it more uh, legible for uh, viewers uh, that can all be done by CSS too. Okay, and uh, that's it for this screencast. Thank you.